Well, hello, Internet, and welcome to part four of my tutorial on how to make Android applications. Today, we're going to cover the action bar, options menu, main.xml, dialog fragments, and a whole bunch of other different things. If you haven't seen any of the previous tutorials, I have a link to them in this video as well as in the description underneath this video, and you should definitely watch them first. So, I have a lot to do, so let's get into it. Okay, like always, open up Android Studio and go New Project. And I'm going to leave this set for API 8, even though I am going to want to have it be 11 later, just to teach something. And I'm going to call this Menu Examples. This one's going to be very easy to learn. And we're going to come out here and click on Next. We're not going to do anything else there. We're going to leave this be Blank Activity as well. I'm probably going to cover fragments in the next tutorial. Actually, I'm going to cover them to a certain extent in this tutorial. And then leave our main coding activity be main activity.java and activity main is going to be our layout file. And we're going to click on Finish and let Android Studio and Gradle do its work. Okay, so everything's loaded up. And what I'm going to be referring to here today is the action bar. That's this guy up here. And then we're also going to have an options menu, which you're going to see here in a second. Now this time I do not need activity main.xml for the first time. I do however need main activity.java. Yeah, I'm going to go in here and get all the rest of them. We're also going to need main.xml, which is in the menu folder. So, of course, that makes sense to have. We're going to be playing around the drawable folder. And we're also going to be making a change in the Android manifest file. Okay, so let's start off in main.xml. There you can see there is our options menu or our overflow menu, whatever you want to refer to it as. It's going to show up in the upper right-hand corner. I'm referring to this over here. If you're using Android 4.0 or above, and otherwise it's going to show way down here at the bottom of the screen with older versions of Android. And to make this menu, all you need to do is create this menu tag. Actually, it's created for you. And then what you're going to do is all the different items you want inside of it, you're going to put between item tags. That's pretty much it. Pretty simple. Of course, you're going to be able to click and catch those events and do certain things. But for now, everything here is peachy keen and wonderful. You might also notice here that everything says Android except for this guy right here. It says app. Well, app is your personal namespace or the thing that makes your application unique. And the reason why we have that, let's jump over into mainactivity.java, is because this guy right here is going to give us support to use the action bar for older versions of Android. And in that situation, you need to refer to your own unique application. If that didn't make complete sense, don't worry about it. It's a little bit more technical than I'm used to covering so far. Right, so if we want to create, let's say, an exit item. Let's just come in here and let's type in item. And let's give it an ID. Let Android do all the work for you. And I'm going to call this guy exit the app. Yes, I'm going to also show you how to exit applications. And we can close that off if we want to. And you can see it's a blank space. And it's a blank space because it doesn't have a title. So let's go and give it a title. And I'm just going to simply call this exit. And of course, Android is going to fill that in there just the way I like it. However, it's going to say that it doesn't like the idea that I am not updating my strings.xml file with exit. So come over here, click on this, and extract string resource. And then we are going to call this guy options exit text just for the heck of it. And that's going to update our strings.xml file. And we are going to be doing things the right way now. Let's shrink this down a little bit. Or actually, let's shrink this down over here. We don't need that open quite so much. Then we'll be able to see what we're doing. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go show as action. And you might catch what's going to happen here. What we're going to do is, do we want to show this on the action bar, meaning horizontally across the screen if possible, or do we want to keep it in the options menu? Well, in this situation, I'm going to say that I want to show it as an action bar item. And then you have different options like if room. And if you also don't want to just show an icon, but you also want to show the text, you're going to type in with text. And that's all that is to that. But you can see there's an error here. And the reason why is we need support for that older version of Android. So we're going to come in here and we're going to change this to app. Okay. Once again, if that didn't make total sense, don't worry about it. Some people get confused by the concept of namespaces. It's sort of like a social security number. It's what makes your application unique. Now, another thing is up here I have order in category 100. If I want my exit to show up under settings, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go order in category and I'm going to type in 101. And then the exit's going to show underneath the settings. And then we can also come in here and give an icon. Remember, I referred to icons before. And I'm going to go and move some icons over into my drawable folder so we can use them. 
Okay, so from a previous app, I had used these, and I'm just using them because they're on hand, not because they're wonderful. And I'm just going to click on the night one here and the sunny one here, and then I'm going to import those into my drawable folder. And then I'm going to go into menu examples, and then after that, I am going to go into app, and then I'm going to go into source, and then I'm going to go into main, and then I'm going to go into resources. And there's the drawable folder I want, and I'm going to just paste these 40 by 40 little icons inside of there. So there they are. You can play around with whatever size works for you. Okay, so back into Android Studio. Okay, so here we are again, and let's just verify that I have those in my drawable folder. I'll open this up, and there they are, night and sunny. So if I want to use those here, just like I talked about previously, what I'm going to do is come in here, and I'm going to go drawable, and then let's say for exit, I want to have the night one. Just type in night, and there it is. And let's say that I want this one to have an icon as well, and give it the sunny one, just for the heck of it, and I'm going to go drawable, and I'm going to say sunny. And there you go, both of them have icons. You can see that this one says that it's never going to show on the action bar, and this one says that it's going to show if there is room. Another thing that's semi-interesting with this guy is, let's say that I wanted to be able to select multiple things up here, not just one or the other, but I wanted to have check boxes to, say, add multiple different filters to a photo. How would I do that? Well, I would just come in here for group, and just go group like this and then come to checkable behavior like that. And if I want to be able to select multiple ones, I'm going to say all. And if I only want to be able to select one at a time, I'd go single. And that's it. And we would close that off and we would go and surround every, every item that we want to be checkable with that closing group tag. And you can see, see they showed up. Now they're checkable. So those are the different things you can do with the options menu as well as the action bar. So now let's jump over into mainactivity.java and make this stuff work. Okay, so here we are. There is our support library for the action bar. Let's go move this out of the way so we can see a little bit better. Now down here in the on create options menu, it's pretty much going to do exactly what it says. It's a method that's going to create the menu inside of our application. And we don't really have to do anything here. Again, this is going to inflate our menu. Get inflator and then go inflate. And guess what? Main, that's a reference to main.xml which is what we've been using, and we don't need to do anything else. It's just going to show up. So that brings us to on options item selected. What that means is what happens when one of those options is clicked on. Well, we're going to define everything. And you can see here the action settings are already defined, but it pretty much doesn't do anything except return true. So what we're going to do is have these guys actually do some things, like open up dialog boxes, close the app, and things like that, just to demonstrate. So basically what we're going to do is come down here and say else if... And then we're going to do the same exact thing again. We're going to say if the thing that was clicked, that ID, that's where we get it from, get item ID that was clicked. If it's equal to R dot ID, and then we're going to put in our exit the app, which is what we named that specific option for them to click on. And then inside of here, I'm going to close the app if that's clicked on. And to do that, it's very simple. You just click on finish, but also remember to type in return true. And also make sure that you type in equals and not just an equal sign. And there you go. Now this guy is going to exit the app if that option is clicked over inside of our options menu. Now what we're going to do is we're going to create our dialog fragment or our dialog pop-up. So to do that, we're going to come over here into Java, and we're going to create it right here inside of this. So I'm just going to go on this, and I'm going to right-click on it, and I'm going to go New, and I'm going to say Java Class, and it's going to open up right here. And I'm going to call this my Dialog Fragment. Good enough name. Click OK, and there it is. Now to create a dialog inside of Android, you're going to have to extend the Dialog Fragment like this. Now to get dialog fragment inside of here, we're going to come up to the top and we're going to go import android.app.dialog fragment. And then if we put our mouse over top of this, it's going to say class requires API level 11. So that means we need to increase the minimum version of Android inside of our Android manifest.xml file. But we're also going to have to do a couple other different things. And we're going to just come in here and we're going to go uses. And then we're going to define SDK. And then we're going to say minimum SDK version. And in this situation, I'm going to say 11. And then I'm also going to go target SDK version. And in this situation, I'm going to say 19. And then I'm going to close that off. But that might not necessarily get rid of the problem. Let's come back in here and let's save it just to make sure. No, it's still giving me an error. How do I solve that? 
Well, in that situation, what you're going to have to do is go to Build Gradle and click on that guy right there. And then Minimum SDK version, we're going to define this as 11. And then we're going to say Save That and Sync Now. See, it says Sync Now up here. Click on Sync Now. And there it goes. Everything's updated. And you can see that the error went away with the dialog fragment. Now what we're going to do is to create a dialog, what we're going to do is right click on this. And we're going to come down here to Generate. And click on Generate. And we're going to say we want to override methods. And the specific one we want here is on create dialog. So just search through this guy and you can see on create dialog is right there. So let's just double click on that guy. And then we need to build our dialog box to show up on our screen or our dialog fragment. And to do so, we're going to go alert dialog and then we're going to specifically call builder and the builder we're going to call it the dialog and then we go equals new and this is going to call alert dialog again and the builder is going to show up inside of there and then we need to pass the activity that this fragment this dialog fragment is going to pop up on top of and to get the activity that the fragment's going to be working with or working inside of we just call get activity and then don't forget to put your semicolon at the end don't put an l put a semicolon and there you go so that is going to allow us to build this dialog box that we want to be able to use if you then want to be able to set the title for your dialog box you're going to go the dialog and set title there we go set title and then you're just going to type in exactly what you want to show up and i'm just going to type in sample dialog again all this code's available in a link underneath the or in the description if you want to actually put your message inside of here let's go the dialog and set message that should do it and then you're just going to type in hello i'm a dialog or something like that as you can see there and there we go another thing we can do is add our text as well as be able to sense a click on a positive button so i just go the dialog set positive there we go and then we have to type in what message we want on that button and then Android Studio is going to do a lot of work here for us. We're going to say new dialog interface. And you can see the on click listener pops up there. We want that. And it's automatically going to build everything that we are going to need. For some reason, the only thing it doesn't do is put a semicolon at the end there. But we can forgive it for that. And there we go. Let's move this out of the way so we can see a little bit better. And there is everything. And this is going to be where we're going to put information in regards to what happens whenever they click positively on OK. In this situation, I'm just going to keep this very simple. I'm going to spell toast right. I'm going to go toast and I'm going to say make text and then make text again to get the activity that we need. Remember, we're not in main activity.java. We're over inside of my dialog fragment. I'm going to go get activity. There that is. And then I'm going to say what I want to show up here. I'm going to say clicked OK just to keep that simple. And then of course we have to define how long we want this to show up on our screen. So we just go toast. Oops, sorry, that's obscuring that a little bit. And I spelled toast wrong again. Toast. And then we're going to say length short and then of course call show. And there we go. That's what's going to show up if they click on the OK button. So what happens if they click on the negative button? Not a big deal. Just go the dialog again. And in this situation, we're going to go set negative button. And the message we want on there is cancel. And then we're going to do exactly the same thing. We're going to go new dialog interface on click listener. It's all right there. Did everything for me. Come down here, close that off. And this is going to be another toast that we're going to pop up. Paste that there. And we're going to say clicked cancel. Okay, so that's how we're going to open and close our dialog boxes. So pretty easy. So how are we going to set it up so that whenever they click on the action settings over in mainactivity.java, that it's going to open up that dialog box for us. We're going to come in here, right like we did before. And we're going to have to create a dialog fragment, which is just a fragment you can place over top of the current activity. And a fragment, by the way, is just basically an interface block that you can place into an activity or on top of an activity or so forth and so on. But to do that, the fragment manager is needed because it's going to allow you to interact with the fragment. So I'm going to call dialog fragment and my fragment. And then I'm going to use my customized fragment, dialog fragment, whatever, which is called my dialog fragment. And nothing needs to be passed to it. And then if I want the fragment to show up on the screen, whenever they click on settings, I'm just going to go my fragment show. And I'm going to have to get my fragment manager. Again, it's going to allow me to interact with the fragment. Get fragment manager. And then I'm just going to type in 
the dialogue. Doesn't really matter what you put in there. And that is basically it, guys. All right, so now that we did all that, let's go and execute this. Very, very simple thing. It's basically just action bar, options menu, and a dialog box. Wanted to keep these tutorials very, very simple, and hence I'm not going to jump through a whole bunch of different topics too quickly. And you can see right here the application opened up. Settings is going to open up, and if we click on settings, the dialog box is going to open up, and if we click on cancel, you're going to see a little toast that shows up right there. Come back up here again, click on this, click on select, there's a little checkbox, click on settings. And there it is, hello, I'm a dialogue, da 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 da. Click on OK. And toast comes up, clicked OK. And then if we click on exit, the application is going to exit as it is doing right there. So that's everything, guys. If anything confused you or if you have trouble with the app, of course, all the code is in the description under the video. And there's more comments in the code than, there, than I even say in this video. So please leave your questions and comments below. Otherwise, till next time.